he wasn't a perfect citizen, but investigators say Louis Parnowski did not deserve to die for his crimes. They say his alleged final score before going on the straight and narrow became final and fatal. Tonight, Two News anchor Sharon Phillips is taking us back to 2004 with a look at the cold case of Louis Parnowski. Louis Parnowski wasn't a blameless man and, according to investigators, didn't want to work a nine to five job. Louis was 33 years old and he had not always been an exemplary citizen. Uh, <clears throat> He, like, like many people, decided for a while that it was much easier, there had to be easier ways to make a living than actually having a job. So he sort of went in the dope business in a very, very small way. He peddled some dope around town. Cold case investigator Ed Jackson says Parnoski yeah. lived and worked here in this small shed to make ends meet to support himself and his fiance. One night, his wife-to-be went over to his shop so they could talk. When she went over there, <coughs> the first thing she noticed, there was a safe the size of a refrigerator laying on its side in his shop and a few tools around it. Jackson says it was clear something was very wrong. He had broken a hole into the bottom of the safe and he told her, if they find out I took this, your husband will be a dead man but there's supposed to be enough money in it to take care of us for a long time. Jackson has a theory about what happened that day. He probably ripped off a big doper and thinks, at least, he has their cash stash. That was the last time she saw him. On September 12th, three fishermen came here to Bird Creek to do a little fishing, and that's when they found the decomposing body of Lewis underneath this bridge. The autopsy revealed that Parnoski had been shot once in the head, but the crime scene indicated that he was most likely murdered elsewhere. And then the suspect or suspects dumped his body off the bridge into the creek. Body was unrecognizable by this time, uh, but the officers working the scene searched his pockets and found identification that identified him as Parnoski. Bobby Eaton lives just a few doors down from where Louis Parnoski was staying. But it's just a lot of activity up and down the street. I kind of stay to myself. That way I can't be accused of anything because I don't know anything. Eaton says no matter what Parnoski did in his past, no one deserves to die before their time. Oh, I don't think it should have happened. Certainly not. I wouldn't agree with anybody being, you know, murdered like that. Uh, but there has to be law enforcement to stop stuff from going on like that. Despite the case remaining cold for 19 years, Jackson says the family of Louis Parnowski deserves some closure. No one knows uh, who killed him. This would be one that surely if, his, if he ripped off some dopers, somebody knows who they are and somebody has details on it. In North Tulsa, Sharon Phillips, 2 News, Oklahoma. If you have any information in the case of Lewis Parnoski, you can contact the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office Cold Case Unit. That number is 918-596-8661.